Hey, what's up, fam? I... I'm gonna get through this video really quickly, to be perfectly honest, because these one... These... My Hero Academia chapters, honestly, it's not that they're short, that they've been, like, 13 pages. It's that it was... It, it's like when you read One Punch Man, and it's like one of those chapters where it's like, oh my god, like, 40-something pages, you know? Not one of the the planned, like, 90... I've seen, like, the 90-page ones. Like, those are crazy. I, I don't know what goes on in the... And then, like, the next one's, like, 25. One Punch Man's... Anyway, this is not a One Punch Man movie. What am I doing? Where it's, uh... Anyway, where it's way more pages, but it's mostly just for actions like it's okay a guy throws a saitama throws a punch and then the next panel is like a super zoomed in and it's just for the fighting choreography where it's just the extra to make the fight feel more fluid and just so you can get those more uh, small but yet important times in the in the fight and it just it just feels way more uh, fast paced than normal fights you know what i mean but these ones, it, it just, it feels like you're just not getting a lot uh, with what goes on, because it, it, it's like 10 seconds. It, it feels like 10 seconds, but at the same time, 10 seconds of stuff that could have been done in like two pages. Um, if you've seen my Gambler's Parade uh, reviews, they've done like four chapters where it's been probably the time elapsed of like a minute and a half, two minutes, and it feels way more natural uh, the way that they're doing it in that manga. But I don't know. I, I I just don't feel it in these ones because it, it like I said, it feels like uh, it feels like Korokoshi took like two pages and stretched it out into a full chapter. But then like it's like, hang on, we need to take those last two pages off and turn that into the next chapter. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if he's just like overworked or you know he's a little burnt. Uh, maybe he should take a week off and you know get his composure. I don't know. He doesn't have that crazy work ethic. Maybe he hasn't honed it yet. Because I know I know the manga writers it's it's a it's a rough job uh in the weekly area you know you gotta you gotta do that super effort to you know get them big dollars in the weeklies but anyway the chapter itself uh you just got some stuff from aravity ochako whatever her name is and for those who have actually talked to my hero academia i don't like her character pretty much at all um i'd like I like a lot of the, the side characters, like the, the class one. I, I like about half of them, but I don't like... like it, It's weird when you have a, a female lead who's like... It's put in the female lead spot, but is used as little as her. It, it, she really does feel like Sakura 2.0, and it's... I don't know. I, I, I don't really care for her at all. But I was I was interested in the last chapter when she goes to to jump on Deku to try and use her power to try and help him, and I was like, all right, what's she gonna do? But she she literally just grabs him, and I'm wondering what was her what was her real plan of why she couldn't have just said, hey Shinzo, do something? Why did she have to jump at him? And even her flashback, it was stuff we already knew, so I don't I don't know what the point of that was. Like, I felt like this was more of a Shinzo moment than a, a Ravity. Like, she didn't really do anything. She didn't use her gravity powers to, like, hit Deku with a bunch of large pieces of equipment to hold him in place to try and get his power on lock or something. It, she just pretty much jumped on him and then said, Hey, Shinzo, do something. And then Shinzo goes and, you know, does his power. And Deku responds and his power, you know, he shuts it down. When he gets under his mind control, and up to this point, it literally feels just like nothing happened. And that's what I was talking about. Like, it's just, it's not so for me that the fact that the chapters are short, it's the fact that it feels like you're not getting a, a chapter of stuff. You, it just feels like you're getting a couple pages that somehow got lost, and then they're like, oh shit, let's just turn those into full chapters. And it, I don't know, it's boring. But. At the end, you get something from one of the previous uh, One For All users, which I thought that was pretty cool. You get this guy, and he's, like, yelling at Deku and, 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 and trying to tell him to, to try harder and something about the power that he's not doing properly. And um, this was what I was talking about, about, uh, uh, about, uh, about there's potentially being uh, abilities that, carry over like if somebody else had a quirk and then they got all for one 
or one for all somehow, and then maybe part of that power kind of like mixed into it. Or maybe that you have to use a certain amount of all for one, and because it's, I think someone said it's like stocking power. Uh, and maybe this is what happens if you don't use that power within a certain amount of time, it loses control. I don't know. But this, I'm trying to end this because this video, and I don't want it to be long. I mean, there's not a lot of talk about it unless I was doing like a stream and then I could ramble on. But kind of just going at this, uh, I'll end it with saying kind of like where I was with the last two chapters. I didn't care for them. I didn't think they were bad, but I didn't there wasn't that feel of like man i'm really excited for the next chapter it it's more of like okay you got my attention i guess like i'm interested enough to continue reading but i'm not i'm not like excited right now like i said not that it's bad i just don't care uh about about what's going on i mean i'm that could easily change uh when we find out stuff about what's going on at the quirk but as far as i know it's just like some weird plot point that's happening Maybe the next chapter will change it, like I said. But that's it for this one, 212. Uh, I, mean, I didn't think, like I said, it wasn't a bad chapter. I just personally was like, eh, you barely got anything. But maybe the next one will be better. Anyway, so, yeah, it's, uh, if you like this, tell me what you thought about this chapter below. How are you taking all this, like, all these events? Do you feel like you're getting a full chapter? Because I don't. Um, you, you know, like the video. Hope you enjoy this enough to, you know, give me a like, subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content, check out my videos, and I appreciate anybody's already subscribed. Thank you very much for listening. Bye.